hey, are you needing a quick and easy recipe to take to a, a barbecue, a family gathering, a holiday meal that's still keto friendly? Alrighty, off to the kitchen. Okay, to my bowl, uh, in my bowl I've got one stick of softened butter and I'm going to add one brick of softened cream cheese. Okay. I'm going to stir these together until they are well incorporated. After that, you add one half a cup, so one half cup of mayonnaise, and you stir that in too. Okay. After you've got your cottage or your cream cheese, your butter, and your mayonnaise, you add one full packet of ranch. Just pour that in there. That's not going to take long to stir in. And then I have cooked up one pound of bacon. That goes in there. I let it cool off so that it didn't uh, curdle or separate my mixture here. Get that stirred in. Okay, now I got my bacon in. I'm going to add mild cheddar. I'm going to put in about two cups of mild cheddar. Okay. Get that all stirred in. And then the last thing, you can add green onions or I'm going to use chives. And I'm going to add probably about two tablespoons. A good chivey flavor. And once you got this all stirred together, you put a lid on it and then you're going to pop it in the refrigerator. Let it sit for about an hour before you serve it or before you start in on it. And you have a delicious dip that is actually keto friendly that you could take to a barbecue or a holiday party of any kind of sort and it is really good it's going to go over very well and everybody is going to enjoy it it looks a lot like a cheese ball here let me show you see there you go easy all right, and just for a little extra pizzazz, I'm going to put just a few chives on top. I'm ready to stick this in the refrigerator and then serve it up. See, super simple recipe, softened butter, softened cream cheese, half a cup of mayonnaise, pound of bacon, two cups of shredded cheddar, and either uh, chives or green onions. And a packet of ranch. There you go. In moderation, this is actually a keto friendly dip. I mean, you could make pinwheels, which, which if you don't know what that is, get your zero net carb uh, tortillas, smear that on there, roll it up, cut it up, and then serve it as little appetizers. They are so good. Or you can you know, use it as a dip with pork rinds. There you go. Lots of options. This is a very versatile um, dip that you can actually take two different places. Um, I actually made this and took this to my father-in-law's, uh, for Father's Day and he enjoyed it. Everybody loved it. Um, it was kind of our appetizer while everybody was grilling type thing. So yeah, it didn't make it till dinner. <laughs> so it's really good. My brother-in-law, Ray, he goes, this is addictive. And I said, yeah. And he goes, what all's in it? Told him, and he goes, he's like, this is good. So, 
after having rave reviews from the Jordan side of the family, yeah, decided I needed to make a video on it. So anyway, I'm going to jump off of here and get ready to go to my parents' house for Father's Day. So you all, just so you know, you're beautiful or handsome, depending upon. I care for you guys. Look, gave you another recipe that's keto friendly, low carb friendly. You can use it as a dip. You can use it as a, a filler in tortillas and make pinwheels. You know, you could just eat it plain. And it actually, you know, in moderation is keto friendly. Okay. I care for you. And it's really good. Um, the TikToker that I've, I found this recipe from called it Don't Tell the Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> and don't tell your family that it's keto friendly because this diet food is ooh, so good. Alrighty. And you're not alone when you feel just kind of lost on what to take to a family gathering. Here you go. It's going to be a crowd pleaser. Alrighty. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. One last thing. Love ya!